Welcome everybody, Dolphin Oracle back again looking at part two of my Annex File Manager series. This time we're going to be looking at Space FM. Now, out of the box, Ro uh, IceWim and Rocks are the default for Antix. If you choose all the defaults that start at during the install, what you get and what I've been working with in the video series is the Rocks IceWim desktop, and you see that right here. Now, but there are other options, and you can do that by um, uh, by uh, logging out and going back to uh, uh, the to the login screen and pressing F1 until you see a different option. There's all sorts of options. The one I'm going to choose is space.iswim. Now, when I log out, my audio is not going to work, so there's not going to be any sound. Uh, if I can figure out how to do a voiceover, I will. But uh, you, uh, you'll see me cycling through. I'm just going to be hitting F1 and moving to Space FM. Now, you can launch Space FM directly from the toolbar, uh, from the menu, uh, if you if you like. And we have in here Tools, Filers, Space FM. It's a very nice file browser. Um, but uh, the the desktop doesn't change by default. So I, the easiest way to do that, I'm just going to log out and log back in. Okay, so now I'm logged back in to the Space Icewim desktop. You see it looks a little different. It looks familiar, but it looks a little different. And the first thing that we're going to do is to tell you about is that the file, the home folder and the selection off the menu are now going to open the Space FM browser. And at first glance, Space FM looks kind of complicated. You've got a tree view down here. You've got um, some shortcuts to mounted media over to media over here and then your standard home folder and it looks a little different than we're used to uh, from if you've been used to rocks but there are some neat things involved um, space FM is amazingly customizable unlike rocks this is not a single window or a single uh, pane file manager it's a multi-pane file manager and you can actually get up to four panes plus these things over here and you got these check marks in the corner and this is how you can add extra panes to the browser and in fact it looks very busy and very complicated but you can customize it the way you want I'm going to back it down to two panes for now and right now both panes are showing my home folder this is showing a list view with icons and this is actually showing a detail view on this side you can customize that any way you like Speaking of customization, you can see most file browsers will show the media over here, and we can't. It's not shown there right now. But uh, one of the things that you can do is go to uh, settings and show, and you can have it set to show the internal drives. And here are the drives that are internal to this machine. Some of these are Windows drives, some of them are Antix drives, some of them are Scratch drive. This 4 gig drive here is actually Swap. I don't normally like Swap to show up. But there are actually configuration options that will let you hide just that drive. Uh, there are a lot of customization items. You can, um, uh, let's see, uh, you can set, let's say I want to hide the swap, I can set hot uh, minus sign in SDA6 and that will hide swap. Now the swap drive is missing. I don't need to see the swap drive for anything. I don't care if it's there. I like it off the menu. There we go. I can always put it back if I want. I can still navigate to it um, through other means. But uh, anyway, so here it is. Now you can turn this window off by clicking this button. This is your, mount, your, this is your uh, media. You can turn the, the the tree view at the bottom here off the file system view by clicking this this is for bookmarks and you can click this if you had bookmarks they would show up here let's say I want to make documents a bookmark I can go to um, uh, bookmarks and add and there it's in bookmarks I can also 
Actually, you can't. You have to add it through the, through the bookmarks menu. But there it is. So now, no matter where in the file system I am, I can click back here to to uh, to the documents folder. And you can see that it change uh, the, this browser is conf the, the other pane is configured independently. It's very uh, very nice uh, way to do it because it makes it very simple to drag things back apart, back and forth. Let's say I want to move. Uh, 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 let's say I want to move my uh, uh, getting started PDF here to the main Dolphin folder. I'm in my Dropbox folder right now, but now since I have this pane over here open to my home Dolphin folder, bam, it's that simple. And none of that fooling around with multiple rocks windows. And I don't know, I'm a drag and drop kind of guy when it comes to file copy. I'm going to put it back just to keep things back the way they were. You can close it uh, by checking the check mark and, it, and, and you're done. You got it back. And you can see the panels remember their settings. So if you customize panel 1 or panel 2, it will remember its settings. I'll also mention you can do that with keyboard shortcuts. Control 1, 2, 3, and 4, open the extra panels. And close the extra panels. Okay, what other things can you customize? Oh, I want to mention keyboard shortcuts. The standard keyboard shortcuts, Control C, Control V, the way you might be used to operating with them in Windows, work the way you expect in um, in 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 y, in uh, space FM. So I'm gonna hit Control C, and then I'm gonna come out to the desktop and hit Control V, and there it is. It's on the desktop, and not only that, it's in the desktop folder. The de it, the the desktop is an actual folder. It works very similar to the way you're used to it working in Windows or in the old classic GNOMEs or Mint or anything like that. So if I delete it out here, it's also going to be gone. Also, you'll see that Control X is cut. Control C is copy, Control V is paste, F2 is rename. These are standard commands, and delete is delete. I'm 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 loving uh, this this the, just the keyboard commands matching the, all the other environments I work in are very handy. Uh, these icons here are actually think of these more as shortcuts. They're program launchers for the various programs. If you delete them, they're gone. You can always recreate them. They're copied from the uh, uh, from the applications folder where they're stored. Uh, their dot desktop files if you uh, uh, if you care now uh, so we have infinitely customizable panes you can customize what the toolbars look like for the right and left toolbars in a given win in a given window and not only can you have multiple panes you can have multiple tabs so if I hit control T uh, same keyboard shortcut as ice weasel I get an extra tab very nice. Uh, that way you can you can click back and forth between two tabs if you like to do it that way. And I believe you can also drag to a tab. Yes, so you can drag to a tab. So if screen real estate's a premium, that's a nice way to move files between two two folders. Okay. By default, Space FM will open up your home folder if you don't select any other options. Uh, uh, you can set it to open more files. It'll it'll always open uh, home and then any additional folders in an additional tab, which can be annoying. Uh, but you, there are some uh, parameters you can specify. My personal favorite being slash in, which says uh, basically only open what I tell you to open in one tab. Um, uh, so if I said space FM slash n uh, uh, slash media, it would only open slash media in the tab. Uh, you can read you can read the space FM manual online. It's uh, uh, it's uh, extremely well documented. Anything you could possibly want to do. Now one of the other items. Uh, that that you can do with uh, Space FM is you can use UDevil uh, rather than the various mount options. It allows some kind of neat things. You can uh, if you can customize you if you uh, set um, the see root and udevil.conf. Oh, I forgot. You have to set. You do have to set up a. Um, let's see. There are settings everywhere. So uh, the one thing I will fault Space FM for is there are settings everywhere. Um, if you go to 
preferences and interface this will let you th these are interface general preferences for the interface um, you can you can check these out as you like uh, default drag actions uh, setting wallpapers uh, I, I suggest you stick with the antics wallpaper setter but but this is another way to do it um, here you can set the editor for for the root so that when you need a, a, a root editing session it's all set up it's good to go it's ready okay it's gonna ask for my password to set it up okay so now if we go to if we right click in these in this area you can come down and get system or root rather and you can edit what's called udevil.conf and you can set a couple of options I'll let you read through it yourself it's pretty handy but what uh, it's pretty well known one you might want to do is this one here where this very first section is the kinds of file types or file systems that it can mount that udevil will mount and by default we don't have sifs which is samba enabled by default so if we enable that and save we'll be able to type in a share you gotta know the share uh, but we'll be able to type in a shared folder a uh, uh, share name in here uh, in, into the file and you devil will mount it okay so before we mount the the uh, the network share uh, we need to make one more change I mentioned we edited udevil.com that means we need to use udevil to do the mounting and we can do that we have to um, change the mount options so we'll come down here to settings and mount command and it gives you different options to use uh, you can leave it blank for auto detection I, I'm gonna go ahead and specify this line the U devil mount line what this is going to do is going to give you options it's going to utilize some parameters that will make things easier to use uh, some options and then the the mount itself while we're at it we're going to go ahead and set the unmount command um, we're just going to make it blank for auto detection now my my I have a network share on my home network whoops and uh, the way you would access it is SMB that's the uh, your it's gonna be a URL type thing couple slashes and in my case it's 192.168.1.133 I know it's an odd number slash media and there we go now I have uh, the items from my media server here uh, I got my DVD videos that, that I got mounted my pictures and my work in progress file and some various other things um, um, uh, of course that's a Windows box so uh, that's the media the media system in the house so that's iTunes and, and everything I can want also some shared folders to make things easier for me um, it gives an amount point over here and you can navigate just like any other uh, file system and I can uh, I can set that to the bookmark so that I can I can it'll mount that automatically so I'm going to unmount that system now see it's gone it's still in bookmarks though so I can click on that in bookmarks oh you know what I forgot something uh, um, the the bookmark isn't is quite right it what it does is uh, is give you the uh, mount it, 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 it tags the mount point and I forgot that but I think you can do this this is <laughs> it's not live video but it's uh, it's close to this time there you go so if you you can edit the link and that way the bookmark will work for you uh, So that'll give you nice quick access, but you do need to know your your share entries, your your, your the destin the address of your share. You can't browsing the network is is a little trickier. Uh, there are some plugins that allow you to do that. Uh, you can research those online at. Uh, uh, I'll put some links down in the show notes. I, uh, but uh, I had some issues using them. Maybe they'll work fine for you. The, uh, the uh, mounting, I seem to be able to get to work. Mount unmounting didn't work all that hot for me. Uh, but this way is very simple, uh, and, and 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 will work for you. You can use uh, similar deals to mount um, 
uh, other, other file systems. Uh, you just read through that udevil.conf. It is very well written. And Space FM, if you let it, will use udevil to do the mounting and unmounting of, of various file systems. So I'm going to click back here to, uh, to my home folder, and I'm going to do that by. Uh, 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 cl oh, clicking the little home button over here, and there we are, back to home. A couple other features with the Space FM desktop: if you insert a USB key, it's going to automatically mount. Um, that can be pretty handy. But there's one feature that you're probably going to want to um, disable, and that is in Devices Settings. An auto mount. There's an option to unmount on exit. That means that when you exit Space FM, so if you exit Space FM, it may uh, unmount your media, and if you open it in a different program, it won't be there. So I like to leave that unchecked so that the items I mount stay mounted. There's one other uh, item I want to show you, uh, and that is the Open With menu. And if we'll uh, do it with JPEG here, and you can see that there is an open, and then it'll give you different things to open it with. Mirage is a file viewer. As a, J, as a uh, picture viewer, um, you can also edit. Um, you can open it in Ice Weasel if you want to. Uh, let's try a document though. Um, let's see something. Uh, here we go. Install.txt is going to give us a bunch of options. Leafpad, uh, the <laughs> the Wine Notepad editor actually. Uh, Genie, uh, LibreOffice. It's, so it's going to give you things that are. That are 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 appropriate for opening text files. You can also type in a destination directly into the button, into the bar up here. And I like slash etc. because there's a lot of uh, a lot of configuration files in here. One of which is uh, fstab, which is where your your folders uh, where your partitions are shown how to mount. But you can actually edit as root. Directly from the window, and that's something that, that works uh, better in Space FM than it does in in in, uh, in Rocks. So that's the Space FM file browser. Uh, it's I, I love it. It's my new favorite browser for for antics. And you will, if you f follow future videos, you're going to see me using the Space FM desktop as my default. Uh, I, I do like it. Uh, it matches more how I'm used to working at work. Uh, as I may have mentioned in past videos, I'm in a Windows environment at work, and uh, so I, it's nice to be able to use the same kind of keyboard shortcuts and dragging conventions. Uh, the Space FM desktop is is closer to that to me than Rocks. I love Rocks. I've used it for years. I'm an old Fluxbox user, and Rocks was perfect with Fluxbox. But uh, I, just the Space FM browser uh, file browser is an extremely nice piece of software. Okay, so that's it. Thank you for uh, watching uh, my videos. I've got a lot of hits and even a few subscribers out there. I appreciate you watching the videos. I hope you enjoy them. If there's anything you want to see, drop a note in the comments or throw a post up over at uh, antics.freeforms.org and let me know what you want to see. I've got a uh, Antics videos uh, post there you can search for or just drop a new topic. I don't mind. Drop it over to new users. That way I'll, uh, I'll know to look for it. Uh, Again, tips, tricks, how-tos, antics.mepis.org, and the forums at antics.freeforms.org. This is Dio signing off. Have a great day.